Okay, let's take a look at my setup very quickly. I have a single light stand with a uh, four flash adapter on it. Three of them are already there, they're active. The first one is an SB900. Oop, here we go, right here. So, easy to tell. It's definitely an SB900. Right next to it, SB800. And just for giggles, we have the SB600 sitting right beside it. Uh, those three speed lights are sitting on top of uh, Flex TT5 Pocket Wizard, the uh, receivers, if you will, transceivers. And uh, the SB900 is set for group A. The SB800 is set for group B. The SB600 is set for group C. And all three of these are controlled with a handheld Mini TT1 with an AC3 on it. So if you pay attention and watch down here, you're going to see when I activate each group individually. Now with all groups turned off, nothing happens. But if I come over here, turn on group one, one turns on, turn that off, group two, group three, you can tell which one of the flashes are being activated. If you take a look in the background a little bit more, I happen to have a light stand. That light stand is exactly 10 feet away from the flashes. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a siconic meter on top of it and just trigger. Let's zoom that out a bit. And trigger the flashes one at a time and then meter them. And from that we should be able to see what the strength at each uh, flash's maximum power is set up. I'm turning off all the groups, except now the SB900. And the SB, you'll be able to tell which one's which easily by the sounds, because everyone has a very distinctive sound. So here we go. The first one, that meters to 7.1. Go to the second one. And the third one, six point three. What wow, flash in the face? Let's try that last one again. Six point three. Now let's go back to the SB eight hundred. Eight point zero. And back to the SB900. Whoops, here we go. 7.1. So, depending on it, let's try that one more time. 8.0. So, uh, being really careful, I can sort of fudge with the numbers a bit, but when you're at your maximums, the SB800 and the SB900 are, are identical. Let's go and do a little back and forth between those two again. So, going back to the SB900. 900, 8.0, uh, excuse me, that was the SB900, let's go to the 800, make sure I'm facing in the right way, 8.0, I can go back and forth like that all day, they're always going to read the same. Position. We'll start off with the SB900. And the meters F13. Now the SB800. F11. Wow, now that's a bit of a new one. Okay, let's try that. Maybe my flash is zoomed at a little bit different of an angle or direction. That might be causing that, because now it's really focused the beam, right? There we go, F13. It's just really, really sensitive, right? Because now we're zoomed in really tight. If I fuddle with it a little bit longer, I'll find that sweet spot and I'll get a little F13.1 or something like that. Here we go for the SB600. 
F9. So, the differences in power output between the SB800 and the SB900, even though the factory guide numbers are really different, are for all intents in the real world identical.